I found 13 of the best work from home apps that will pay you daily. And I also chose different categories so that if you don't like one of the types of work from home apps, there will be a bunch of different ones for you to choose from. And the first category is going to be easy gig job list apps. And the first app we're gonna talk about is Jobble. And Jobble is a mobile app that connects you with flexible jobs that pay daily. So Jobble is kind of like a personal assistant that helps you to search for jobs and land them. And some of the most common job categories are going to be delivery, hospitality, general labor, event staffing, warehouse, and retail work. Now the expected pay with this app is over $10 per hour. But of course the pay is going to vary based on the type of job that you select. Now the commissions that this app takes is about 39%, but that is paid by the workers, not the employees. But that is pretty steep. So the pros of this one are it's very easy to use. There's a wide variety of jobs and it pays daily. Some of the cons of this one are some of the jobs may not be available in all areas. Some jobs may require specific skills and the pay in many cases is going to be a bit lower than a traditional job but overall this is one that can be good for you if you're in a situation where you need to just make some money wow. on the side and you can make a full-time income from jobble or other apps like it but overall i'm going to give this one a six out of ten opportunity score do you want an app that turns your spare time into spare cash and winolo is basically a staffing app that connects workers to companies that need them and some of the top categories that they hire for are going to be delivery jobs general labor jobs merchandising jobs jobs, washing and cleaning jobs, food production jobs, manufacturing and production jobs, and warehousing jobs. And Winolo is a great way to earn some extra money on the side while having the flexibility to work whenever you yeah. want. Now this one is similar to Jobble, but it has jobs that pay higher typically, and it has more options. So I'd recommend to check both of them to see what's available in your area. So some of the pros of this one are it's easy to use, there's a wide variety of jobs, and it pays daily. Some of the cons of this one are the jobs are not going to be available in all the different areas, similar to Jobble, which is why I recommend checking both. And a lot of the options probably are not going to be jobs you want to work your entire life. And in many cases, the jobs you get might be temporary. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Are you tired of cluttering up your home Ooh. with old CDs, DVDs, games, and books? And do you want to clean things up while simultaneously getting paid to do yes. it? If so, you can sell your old treasure that you don't actually care about anymore on the app Declutter. And this is an app where you can sell all kinds of different things like games, games, books, computers, phones, DVDs, and old CDs. It's easy to use and you can get paid the same day your items wow. are received. And you can think of Declutter as almost like a virtual garage sale. And you can use it to get rid of all of your unwanted items and you don't even have to haul it out yourself. And since Declutter was founded in 2008, they've actually paid out over a billion dollars to their customers. And here's a blog post from someone who made over $50,000 just simply selling old stuff. Now there's a lot of websites that you can do this on, but Declutter is one of the easiest to use and it also pays reasonably well too. And if you look at the feedback, they have really good ratings online. So the pros here are it's very easy to use, the payments are fast, and there's a wide variety of items that they accept. Some of the cons are the shipping costs can be high, not all items are accepted, and the customer service can be slow. So overall, this is a way to make a little bit of extra cash on the side, especially if you're someone who has gotten a bunch of stuff and you just don't need it anymore, but you're probably not gonna be able to make a full-time income from this. So for that reason, I'll give this one a 5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next category is going to be ways of making money by simply shopping or surfing the web. And there's only one app I'm going to put in this category, and that is Swagbucks. And this is going to be especially good for you if you're somebody who already spends a lot of time surfing the web and shopping online, because you can literally turn your browsing skills into cold, hard cash, because Swagbucks is an online rewards program, and they let you earn gift cards and cash for the things that you already do online. So you can make money on Swagbucks by taking surveys, playing games, watching videos, shopping, or even using their search engine. And the more you engage, the more rewards you can earn. And I've personally been using Swagbucks for over three years now myself. And most people earn on average about $1 to $5 per day. And Swagbucks has already paid over $600 million in gift cards and cash to their members. And here's a blog post from somebody who says they make about $93 per month on average. And they say they don't even use the app more than 20 minutes per week. So some of the pros here are there is a wide range of activities that you can do in order to to earn money and you can use the mobile app whenever you're bored or you have some free time so you can earn on the go. Plus there's a large selection of gift cards and cash rewards you can earn. Now some of the cons are the earning potential can vary. Some of the most common rewards are not always available such as gift cards and some of the activities on the app do require more time and attention. But overall this is a great way to make extra money on the side for basically doing nothing. So because of how easy and passive it is I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. So why waste your time online when you could be turning it into money 
with swag bucks. Now the next category is going to be gaming related apps. And the first one is going to be missed play. And this is a loyalty program for mobile gamers. And basically you get to discover new games, play them, maybe give some feedback and get rewarded for your time. And missed play is kind of like a free virtual arcade, except instead of getting rewarded in tickets, you get to redeem your points for gift cards and cash. Now the minimum payout amount is $5 and you can request a payout once you've reached that amount and you'll get paid within 24 hours. Now the truth is you're not going to be able to make anywhere near a full-time income from this, but you are literally getting paid to play video games, right? So it's pretty decent pay considering you would probably be playing video games anyways. So some of the pros of this one are it's fun and rewarding to get paid to play video games. There are a wide selection of games to choose from and there's daily opportunities to earn points which you can redeem for real world items and cash. Some of the cons here are the earnings may vary depending on the time and effort it takes. It is going to be limited to mobile gaming and some rewards may require a significant amount of points to redeem. But this one does have really good ratings online on sites like Trustpilot. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Another app that's very similar to this is Just Play. And Just Play is very similar to Missed Play and they really both pay around the same and have similar ratings. But I do think Missed Play is slightly better. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next category is going to be survey and micro tasking apps. And the first one on the list is going to be surveys on the go. And this is basically an app that connects you with surveys that match your interests. And this allows you to earn real money simply by sharing your insights. Now the minimum payout is $10 USD. So once you get to that point, you will get paid within 24 hours and you'll get the money through PayPal. So the surveys typically take 10 to 15 minutes to complete and you're usually gonna make about 50 cents to $2. So you could make up to $12 per hour, but typically it is going to be less than that. Now this is another one that has a lot of really positive feedback online. It's definitely not something you're gonna make a full-time income from. It's more of something you can do on the side when you're bored. For instance, if you're waiting in line at the DMV, you could just go ahead and take a survey while you're waiting and you'll probably earn a few dollars. So the pros of this one are it's extremely flexible. You can do it pretty much anytime. There's also real rewards, both cash as well as prizes. And you have a variety of different surveys that you can take. Some of the cons are survey availability. So you will probably get served things up based on your profile. And that can include your occupation as well as where you live. Some surveys also have qualification requirements because some companies are looking for specific criteria for qualification. And of course, there is a lot of earnings variation and it does tend to be relatively low paying. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10 opportunity score. Don't get me wrong, it can be really good to make a little bit of extra money if you're just bored and you wanna do something, but the pay is relatively low compared to almost all the other options on this list. Now, a company that's an even better option, in my opinion, that does very similar things is going to be Eureka. So Eureka is also a surveys app where you can share your opinion, complete different challenges, and get rewarded for your time. Now, this one has really good ratings online as well, but they do tend to pay a bit better. So for instance, here's one where you make $1.53 for a survey that takes about two minutes, $1.23 for a survey that takes about one minute, and so on. So you do have the ability to make quite a bit more money than surveys on the go. But with that being said, the pay is still relatively low and the availability is also low as well. So pros here are it does have an interactive experience. You do have daily earning opportunities and there is a variety of different rewards. Some of the cons are survey availability is gonna be relatively low. There can be stringent qualification requirements and there is going to be a lot of earnings variability. So overall, this is another one where if you're bored and you just have to wait in line or you just have nothing to do, you can definitely do this, take a few surveys a day and you can make some nice side income. So I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Now, one company that's kind of similar to the survey apps, but also kind of similar to MTurk is going to be Brand B. And this is an app that connects you with paid opportunities to complete simple tasks, surveys, and promotions. And the rewards that you earn through Brand B can be redeemed for gift cards. And these gift cards are typically for popular companies like Amazon, Walmart, or Target. Now, over the last year, users have earned about $1 million by completing tasks through this app. So this one is relatively new and it's not as well established. And it also seems like it doesn't pay quite as well as some of the other ones. But this is another one to look into, so I'll give it a five out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a completely passive way of earning money. You literally just get paid to shop, right? So you get paid to shop for things that you would already be buying anyways, and that's with an app called Ibotta. Now, this is another one where obviously you're not gonna be able to make a full-time income. It's just gonna be a little bit of extra money on the side, but this one has really, really good feedback online. It has a loyal base of people who use it. And I've also been using this one for years as well. So as long as you use it responsibly and you don't end up spending way more money than you would have otherwise, this can be a great option. 
So this is another one where you might be able to make a couple hundred extra dollars a month. So the pros of this one are it's easy to use. There's a wide variety of offers and you can earn cash back daily. Some of the cons of this one are it does have a minimum purchase requirement. The cash back is not instant and you can only earn cash back on certain items. So overall, because it's so passive, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Now the next one on the list is technically a food delivery app, but it's one you might have not ever heard of and that is Caviar. And Caviar is a food delivery app that exclusively partners with high quality restaurants. So typically if you're a delivery driver for Caviar, you will be delivering your food to people who have a lot of money and people who have a lot of money tend to tip really well. Now this one did get bought out by DoorDash, but it's still branded as Caviar. And out of all the food delivery apps, this one does tend to have the best reviews online. And the hourly pay is about $20 per hour. Plus, like I said before, you do get tipped. So the pros here are it's very flexible and you can work whenever you want. You also get to earn money daily and you get paid to drive around town. So if you enjoy driving, this can be great for you. Some of the cons here are unpredictable income, no benefits, and it can be dangerous driving a lot. So overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next category is going to be charging scooters. And the app I'm going to be talking about is Lime. And basically, as you probably know, a lot of big cities will have scooters that you can rent, and these will be all around the town. And of course, these scooters will eventually run out of electricity and they need to be recharged. And that's exactly what you'll be doing. You'll be going around recharging scooters that ran out of battery. Now, typically the best time to work is going to be in the evening. And a lot of the time people will just work a few hours a night and they'll make somewhere between 50 and $100. So some of the pros here are it's a very convenient and efficient mode of transportation. I honestly am a huge fan of this type of transportation because I think it's really convenient and it's also sustainable. It also does pay well for the amount of time you spend doing it. And it's also very easily accessible. Some of the cons here are it's not going to be available everywhere. It's also going to be much more profitable if you live in an area that has a lot of tourists. And it's typically going to be better at certain times of the day. But overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, there are certain careers that take a little bit longer to get into, right? A lot of these are available literally right away. You could just download them on your phone and start making money right away. But there are some careers that might take like a month to three months to get into, but they also tend to pay much better. And one of those careers is tech sales. And a good friend of mine started a company called Course Careers that teaches people how to get into tech sales. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have used Course Careers to land their first job. And my friend did make a free training, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below if you want to check it out. Also, check out my video on 13 remote jobs that are always hiring by clicking right here.